Here's a new study evaluating how animal and plant protein intake can impact the odds of malnutrition amongst older adults. They included 2,965 adults ages 62 to 92 from two Spanish cohorts. Malnutrition was defined using criteria from the Global Leadership Initiative on Malnutrition, which includes weight loss, low BMI, low grip strength, and low muscle mass. Each of those metrics had a cutoff for moderate and severe malnutrition, and they then assessed whether or not the state of malnutrition had stayed the same, improved, or worsened during the 2.6 year follow-up. Each 0.25 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight per day consumed from animal sources was associated with a 15% greater odds of improvements in nutritional status, while the same amount of protein from plant sources was associated with a 77% greater odds. And this was after adjusting for confounding variables like physical activity, smoking, total calorie intake, markers of diet quality, and chronic diseases like cardiovascular disease, cancer, and type 2 diabetes. They also evaluated the potential substitutions of animal protein for plant protein and found that replacing protein from poultry, processed meat, fish, and yogurt with plant protein was associated with greater odds of improvement as well. The yogurt and fish findings are interesting given that they're typically associated with good health outcomes as well, but this could include sugary yogurts and fried fish, so it's unclear how much that contributed. And although they did adjust for chronic diseases, I do suspect a lot of the benefit of plant protein over animal protein is due to a reduction in risk of those chronic diseases. This is because things like weight loss can occur long before a diagnosis of cancer, for example, which wouldn't have been picked up in this adjustment model. Nonetheless, the replacement of animal protein from most sources including meat with plant protein was generally beneficial. But notably, the benefits of plant protein may have been isolated to those in the top half of overall protein intake, not when total protein intake was low. So you want to get enough protein and focus on plants. 